talking, talking with famous people. It's not just because intuitives are more rare, it's also because intuitives definitionally are concerned with the meaning making aspects of the physical yeah. and emotional worlds, whereas sensory types are more concerned with concrete aspects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, yeah. Derek, that song was so amazing, I just have to say. Thank you. And your enthusiasm it, for it was was fantastic. I, that, that's the sort of shit that makes me happy in life, when people are enthusiastic about some little thing I did like that. I appreciate it. But it, it was Thanks. so amazing. Like, I'm still enthusiastic about it because I was watching the video, and then I was like, what the hell? Like, I literally thought I was tripping. I thought it was my own head making it. And then I was like, what the hell is happening? It was just so good. Yeah, well, I heard that cool. When I hear cool little samples like that, it makes me want to make a put it to set it aside for later to make a song out of it. But then when I try to set it aside for later, I end up going, well, maybe I just put down some thrones, you know. But even that, even that, it's like a, it is already a little song, you know. And then you could have like the talking to fam famous people uh, album. It's such a good uh, format. Casual INTP one time said. It, 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 I said it many times, and I also made a song out of that one. So it, it's a sample that catches my ear and makes me go like, oh, that's a cool sample. And you go, yes, it is. You know? Yeah, it sounds like a yes, sample. it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so good. Sorry, Nick, I got it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, this is good. Oh, did he leave? Oh, he left. Because Eric made this... Um, he made this edit out of uh, we were having a conversation and then he made a song he made it a song basically because I just went yes they are or something like that and then he just like repeated my voice and did like a little song a little mix it was really it's, good. A, it's an interesting thing that just happened and, and uh, I don't know how to, if I should comment on it or not but it, it's, it's, it ties into the other type conversation really kind of yeah. So what's that? I gotta go to the bathroom. I think you cut out. But hold your thought though. Tell me. What were you gonna say earlier, Nick? I was just gonna say that. That that compliment that you gave Eric was very nice and it meant a lot to him. That's that's one kind of some um, you know he's putting a lot of stuff out there, and mm -hmm. uh, ENTPs tend to do things without thinking about it, and then they don't they do it very fearlessly and not really fearing consequences or even considering that, and then after the fact. It's when they think about it and, and do the do the thing that a lot of people might do in the beginning where they're like, is, okay, is this going to be well received? Is people going to like this? Blah, blah, blah. So um, it's actually, I, I, yeah. I look up to Eric in that regard. I, I, I respect him in that regard because it is, uh, he makes himself quite vulnerable in that, in that sense. And um, he got a lot out of what you just said to him, and that was nice. Mm. It's, yeah, I really, I really appreciated what he did as well. That's the uh, that's where ENTP feelings come in. Mm -hmm. I can relate to the thing that you're saying though about the order of doing things as well though, that you know, like you might just throw yourself into something without being sure of what, and then afterwards you. You do the well. It's the it's, it's good and bad. It, I think it's ultimately good because it's it's good being comfortable with. You got to get to the point where you're comfortable being uncomfortable. When you have any as as a dominant function or whatever the second function is, um, but when, especially when it's your dominant function and you you act without thinking or you say without thinking you get more confident in yourself by doing that by not thinking about it and just doing and, and 
you know, it, it creates confidence on its own. And, <sighs> you, are I, you saying that there's that confidence, but also vulnerability somewhere? Well, I don't think you get confident without putting yourself out there and being vulnerable. Yeah. I think that's. I think confidence is a um, is one. It's another one of those intangible things, and it's interesting to see how it manifests. And uh, you know, it's it's. Because this all came about because, you know, when you hear a lot of things about yourself, when you talk to a lot of people, and then, you know, you're, you're good at understanding other people, but not so good at understanding yourself like me. That's how I feel. Um, yeah. It, it's. I guess you get kind of blind to yourself because there's just so many layers. Well, and you're not static no. either. I mean, I find it relatively easy just to do something. You know what I mean? To to make a jump or something like I do with jobs or relationships and things like that. There's got to be a balance to it. But one thing that I see, and and it's, uh, you know, I've, I've tasted some success in life and things like that. And when I get to meet people who are more intelligent than I am, and 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 people who are, are more capable, at least just as capable, and they're they have all these good ideas and stuff and ambitions, it 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 makes me want to. You know, I inevitably end up doing the pushing thing where I'm like, just fucking do it. You can do it. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, it's, mm. it's hard to resist. Don't you find it's easier to, to do that kind of pushing or inspiring like other people, but like yourself, it becomes more complicated? It becomes more complicated when I think about it. Yeah, maybe ENTPs are better at, at that part than ENFPs. I think it'll experience and um, maturity and those types of things make a big play, make a major, major. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And they, you know, they don't make some of the same bad decisions I make. But my mm. response to that is then that, well, all bad decisions are recoverable from this point. That are, you know, from, from my own experience. But yeah, I guess that's what you really learn from. Getting used to throwing yourself into things, you get used to that. Whereas, you know, I, I just think like I remember when I was in art school, some people would really, really think before they started doing a project, for example, and they would like oh, like really, really think about it and have really interesting ideas. But then they would be like almost paralyzed when it came to doing starting the actual work, you know. And whereas I had the opposite problem that I would just start all these things. And then afterwards, I would figure out what it was that I was actually doing. So in the beginning, when the teacher would ask me, so what are you doing here? Like Then I, I found it really difficult to be taken serious because I kind of need to explore in order to understand where... I was explaining my interaction with INTPs and in that I really relate to them a lot and I find them beautiful creatures. My brother's an INTP. And that I, I find myself trying to ignite some type of fire in them or something. I guess INTPs are very hard to get to get get them to take action, I guess. At least myself. It is. I have had to be conscious of it because A, it's rude sometimes. B, it's just who am I to take on that type of role? I, I have no other choice but to say um, it ties into what I was saying earlier where uh, the whole, maybe it's NE as, as the dominant function of an ENTP where we kind of just jump and then it creates this kind of confidence thing. Do you, do you think, um, as an INTP, do you think that you uh, are lacking confidence or that you could use more confidence or that your confidence is just fine or... I think right now I am in a position where I have kind of a high confidence, maybe too high, because I'm I'm in a stable environment. My like friends are stable, my family's stable. I feel like very stable at the moment. I feel like it's great. Uh, this is probably the best confidence confident I can be, the most confident I can be as a person. So maybe I'm too much too confident right now. I feel like I have yeah. direction. I feel like I have like stable grounds. I feel like I have a job that I like a little bit at least. So I feel in 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 the moment I feel very confident. But is most of them uh, I've come across their their struggle with confidence, when because yeah. because it's it's alarming to me because I feel like they have the most reasons to be confident and from for as far as the things that I value with intelligence and and um, 
just the power of mind in regards to that. Uh, the problem I have being an INTP that that's I have no control of my external what I, what I project externally. I so have to, I have. I have had, I had had, I don't know, so much problems with that in my life, like a little bit of paranoia even that I really don't, can. I have so much trouble with external world. It's like, it's, it's so hard for me to comprehend, it's so hard for me to navigate sometimes that I really get, get lost in, in the external world. So I'm going to, here, here is control, here is like wild west, no really, con no control at all. So it's like, the mind is like some kind of safety net, like safe, safe place you can be, like, Really, like you feel in control, but outside it's hard. At least for me, I don't know how, how it is for other INTPs, but for me it's like outside it's a big scary world where you don't really know what's gonna happen, and in here it's like control. Talking, talking with famous people.